And that was almost perfection, if not perfection. Beautiful dance, powerful tumbling. She's got it all. Let's see if she can add to her trophy case here. She's a senior. She might be able to do it because she's got a combination of everything. She has nice form, good choreography, and just powerful, dynamic tumbling. It's incredible. Look at the height and difficulty in that one pass. She is so talented. This middle tumbling run, the combination is so great. One and a half twist, punch, run with a full twist, right into a granny step out. It's just, it's fantastic. She had a 9.95 in qualification. So far, this routine is awesome. She's performing like somebody who wants to go. See if she can land this. Final pass, Pike double back, beautiful. This is my pick. I have, I'm gonna put it out there, I have to say, because she had it all. Right. She really had it all. Amazing that she's a senior here, wrapping up an amazing competitive career at Florida. And she actually has a routine that can challenge for that top spot both in the choreography and her explosive tumbling. Watch this double layout. Beautiful. That's the best of the competition. Love this middle tumbling round. This is her combination pass. And it just floats one skill to the next. Effortless. See if you can get it. I love the way she goes right into the dance after the tumbling landing. Very seamless. 18-time All-American shared the NCAA all-around title. Her second, she shared it with Sam Pesic at these championships. I love that she is enjoying this. She's not one to smile a lot. Very serious, but well, <laughs> that will light up her face. What a floor routine from start to finish. Hit every single pass, made every single landing. And Nina McGee, who is always a highlight on the floor for Denver. They had a great season, but did not do well, unfortunately, at the NCAA regional, so they are not represented here as a full team. But this is one of the great routines. Oh, all in the college competitors gymnastics. here love to stop and watch this routine. <laughs> so much fun. The senior from Cincinnati, Ohio. Oh, the audience loved it. Oh, look, look at, at that. that. They're all on their feet. How nice. Here she comes, the AAI award winner, which is essentially the Heisman Trophy of gymnastics to the top senior student athlete. And I have to say, just watching her skip onto the floor into this routine, that tells you who Ashley Nat is, or Bugs, as they call her. Flying through the air, double layout. 
This is someone who loves this sport, loves her team, loves LSU, puts everything she's got. And she's the second gymnast in a row from LSU whose mom is an Olympian, because her mom, Joan Moore, was in the 1972 Olympics. Her dad, Ray Natt, an All-American at LSU. Beautiful control on the two and a half twist to punch front. Score in for Danielle Breen for Nebraska on beam, an outstanding 9-9. I really like about this team this year in particular they went to work and they focused on all the little details trying to fix every tiny little thing as best they could oh my look at the landing on the pike double back just a phenomenal finish oh what are you gonna do rotation so I three have no nine idea. nine fives in a row and then that kayla skinner now will close it out for utah on the floor Bailey Rowe, 9925 before her, so. And Bart, if you saw her walk onto the floor, it just tells you all about Michaela Skinner. There is confidence. And what can you say about and this opening tumbling me. run? Double, double. Wow. The amount of energy she brings to this routine <laughs> is pretty, pretty crazy, really. is why she was such an important contributor to the U.S. teams at the World Championships over the last several years because on events like floor and vault, nobody could out-tumble or out-difficulty her. You're right, she could do so much difficulty. That part of her score was just sky high. She could even take a few of the deductions for you know, footwork or, or form and the leaps and jumps. She has worked hard on Correcting those here for college. Nice to see. One and a half twist. Two to a double twist. She's marking those positions at the end to really show off the fact that she has complete control on the landings. Uh-oh. Almost lost her balance stepping into the corner. <laughs> <laughs> you can do double twisting, double back. Check this. Step out of bounds on a shimmy. Only a few do this in the beginning of the oh. routine. She handled that landing very well because it was a big step back, but she showed it in such a way it masked how large the step back was. Well done. <laughs> and she is getting her Utah fans on their feet. Uh, here we go, Caitlin Hashi. Hang on. I love it. Her signature move, and you might have a new leader on floor exercise, and in fact, if she's not, I will be shocked. Can't say enough great things about Maggie Nichols. She came in her freshman year and just dominated, unfortunately had a fall in the team prelims last year at the NCAA Championships, which cost her the opportunity to win that all-around title, which everybody thought she would, but she's had an amazing year this year, and she's picked up right where she left off, and trying to get the title that slipped away last year along with another team title on beautiful pike full in to start. That is 
a new pass for her. Beautiful combination. Anastasia Webb at 9.9375. also a member of the 2015 World Championship team that won gold. And that was almost perfection, if not perfection. Beautiful dance. Powerful tumbling, she's got it all. Here we go with Alicia Boren. There's another huge double layout. You got a big double layout? Let big me double show you out. mine. Cool, let me pull out my double layout from my back pocket too. Oh yeah, and this is gonna be fun as well. There's your pants, John, I know you're thinking about it. Man, my favorite artist of all time, a little MC Hammer. It is Friday, guys. Getting ready for the weekend. And she has got the whole crowd. She's the only one performing right now. All eyes on her, and they are loving it. Friday night dance party. It's official. If you weren't sure it was the weekend, this just solidified it for you. And you can't see it, but Jenny Rowland has even got the, the shoulders pumping on the sidelines, head coach from Florida. Huge nice. double back last pass. That will be a big score for Alicia Boren. It's tough as an individual here at this competition. The Denver crew was marking the lines on the extra padding mat that Lindsay will be using for her tumbling pass. Lindsay Brown, sophomore. She has gotten a 10-0 on this event. Did that versus Oklahoma earlier this season. I'm sorry, these double layouts yeah. are outstanding. This is the double layout session without a doubt. Unbelievable. A nice switch ring to switch half. back vibes with music choices, which I'm absolutely loving. 100%, and that was perfection on that second pass. She combined tumbling and a jump, so that gets her bonus for connecting those two types of movements. Keep in mind, individual titles on the line as well. Lindsey Brown, certainly somebody capable of winning this event. Control double pike. She opens up out of that double pike like few gymnasts do. And what an exclamation point for the Denver Pioneers. Back to floor exercise. Brenna Dowell, watch this mount. It is world class. And Jay Dagovea scoring 9.9. Beautiful double and that's why it's named after her. Very difficult tumbling pass. Is it corny of me that I'm getting goosebumps watching these routines? This is Just like a full blown mom, like, oh honey, that routine was so great. Beautiful second pass. Brenna Dowell has got what it takes to win this event. 
5.95, I believe, is the score to beat. It is. A beautiful torch to have straddle full. Finish all the way around. Nicely controlled. If she can stick this dismount, I tell you what, she's going to make it really interesting. Especially with Jay Dagovea's 9.9. .9. Judges would almost have to go higher. But she's got to stick. And Perfect. she does. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to add my, my stag jump on the end to get just a smidge more bonus. Brenna that should Dow. go high. That absolutely is going to be a 9.9+. plus. How is that Michigan ball? Alicia Sacramone Quinn joining us. If you haven't been with us earlier tonight, she's jumping over from the vault coverage. It was consistent vaults. We've been lacking landings on vaulting. There's been not many sticks. So unfortunately, that is what are giving these athletes a little lower scores. Kyla Ross, nice mount, whip to double tuck. There was so much height to that double tuck. Yeah, she just pops that thing, and that floor is a uh, there's extra big springs under there, I'm thinking. The girls are, are getting some amplitude today. Nice one and a half to front layout. I think Kyla's really coming to her own at UCLA. She was a little more reserved. I would say rigid with her gymnastics when she was in the elite team, but she seems to be having so much fun and just thriving in this NCAA environment. And I don't want to get ahead of myself, but LSU has moved ahead of Michigan. They are currently in the top spot, Utah, with two gymnasts yet to go on beam, but they have two scores in the 9.7s and two low 9.8s. I don't know that they can catch LSU, assuming now UCLA can finish strong here on the floor exercise. It looks like UCLA and LSU. And they put a double pike. Well controlled, lots of air time. Kyla Boss. It's an automatic. Kyla gets on the floor or any apparatus, it's going to be a hit.